Are you saying that your private interpretation of the scripture is superior to 2000 years of church wisdom? That seems a little arrogant, don't you think? Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Dinesh, a Catholic commentator from Sydney, Australia. If you appreciate the content in the channel, please consider supporting me in Patreon. It will help me in continuing my mission. Link in the description. Thanks. Let's jump right into our topic of discussion. In today's video, I've compiled an interesting set of clips featuring Protestant pastor Francis Chan openly challenging the doctrines of sola scriptura and personal interpretation of the scriptures. What's truly remarkable is that he's doing so while still serving as a Protestant pastor. It's a testament to his intellectual honesty. In recent years, Francis Chan has displayed indications of leaning towards Catholicism, leading many to speculate that he may soon join the Catholic Church. In an interview, he expressed that his appreciation for the Catholic Church grew after studying the writings of the early Church Fathers and dwelling into the Catholic Church history. As St. John Henry Newman said, to be deep in history, is to cease being a Protestant. In the first clip, Francis Chan highlights that merely affirming belief in the doctrine of sola scriptura isn't sufficient without the accurate and authoritative interpretation of scripture. While many Protestants lean on either their personal understanding or their pastor's interpretation, Francis concedes that he has reached a point where he recognizes the importance of not solely relying on his own interpretation. Let's listen to what he has to say. Now, the problem is, I have to trust someone's interpretation when I read it whether that's mine with my computer mm. or it's mine with my elders. Yeah. yeah, mine with, you know, and that's what's difficult is we can say sola scriptura all day, mm -hmm. but then we still have to read it and explain what it means mm -hmm. and yeah. interpret what it means. And I'm just saying, I don't bet on just me anymore. In every field of study, it is common to seek guidance from teachers, mentors, or experts who can explain complex concepts, provide context, and offer interpretation. Their guidance is crucial because it helps us navigate through the complexities of subject matter and ensures that we grasp the concepts accurately. But how when it comes to understanding of God, morality, and eternal matters, which are incredibly more profound and more complex than any field of study, that Protestantism encourages individuals to read the Bible themselves and interpret its meaning without necessarily relying on any external authority or established interpretations. I recently came across a video where the Lutheran pastor is telling his congregation, if you want to understand scripture, just keep reading it. One day you will understand it. Scripture will interpret scripture. Just imagine telling this to a school student. If you want to understand chemistry, just take the book and keep reading it and you will understand it all by yourself and whatever you interpret, that is called chemistry. If you give it some thought, you will see how ridiculous and egotistical that sounds. Now moving on to our next clip. Francis Chan discusses another problem with personal interpretation. When we interpret scripture on our own, how can we be sure that our understanding of scripture is correct? What authority validates our interpretation? Furthermore, when two different individuals interpret the same verse differently, how do those two reconcile their differences? Can there be a scenario where my personal interpretation is very close to a heresy? Now let's listen. Okay, let's say you and I both believe sola scriptura, sure. but then we interpret this passage differently. differently. Yeah. Who's right? Yeah. Is it... Do we take an IQ test yeah. and go whose IQ is higher? How long did you study for? What was What's your yeah. work ethic like? Okay. How many hours do you study? Yeah. You know, like what determines the right answer? And you guys start weighing this and you're going, this is getting silly. Yes. Um, and so everyone and their mother thinks, no, I'm that guy and I've got correct theology yes. and let me blast everyone who's off from my view. Right. And they never stop to think, why is your view? superior to mine. And then it's just Dang. all these arguments. The most important sentence in that clip was, why do you think that your interpretation is superior to mine? Even the most knowledgeable and respected Protestant minister can't answer that question. This core problem explains why two Protestant ministers who disagree on an interpretation cannot engage in a reasoned and rational argument without an higher authority to appeal to beyond themselves. The discussion inevitably hits a standstill with each of them adhering to their own viewpoint. Eventually, both of them part ways and establish their own churches based on their respective interpretations. This encapsulates the essence of the Protestant phenomena of 33,000 denominations. Any honest Protestant you ask will confirm this as true. In the final clip, Francis Chan discusses his struggle to reconcile the fact that for the first thousand years, all Christians share the same beliefs affirmed by the church councils. Yet today, as a Protestant, I am expected to believe that my personal interpretation of the scripture is superior to thousand years of church history and the wisdom of the Council Fathers. Let's listen to what he has to say. Gosh, it was a time when the church was one. Many of these people gave their lives 
Come on. for the gospel. When you read the depth of the things that they wrote yeah. and the sacrifices that they made to follow Jesus, I just go, I bet on them way before I bet on Francis Chan right. as an individual and with his visible. laptop. If there was one council and they all agreed on something, sure. and it's that same truth for those first thousand years, I'm not going to go with my opinion anymore as superior to when the church was one and what they believed for a thousand years. Yeah. So I lean towards, I'm still studying all of that and going, I'm with those guys. So the ultimate question in the ongoing debate between Catholics and Protestants is, did God forsake the faithful and allow his church to remain in error for such a prolonged period that the divine truth was somehow lost or obscured for over a millennium only to be revealed in the 16th century? Don't you think it's arrogant for someone to believe that all the wise and saintly figures of the past, along with church councils and early church fathers, were all wrong and that only they have the enlightenment to know the absolute truth through their private interpretation of the scripture. Come on, that's just too silly. I'm not suggesting Protestants should forget about their interpretation and start believing everything the Catholic Church teaches right away. But however, I want to encourage them to consider that there might be some merit to what the early Christians and church fathers believed. Perhaps that could be the first step toward understanding why the Catholic Church teaches what it does. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. God bless you.